Hey, what's going on everybody? How's it going? I'm Technium and this is Technium Gaming. Today I have a pretty awesome find that I got on Pokemon Center. It was really, really lucky to find this because this is a Spring 2020 Grookey Galar Partners tin. And uh, it comes with that promo Rillaboom there. But it also comes with five booster packs and I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure that one of the booster packs is an evolutions pack. And I got this tin for $25, considering that the evolutions packs are $20 on eBay. This was a really great deal because that basically means I got an evolutions pack and then four other packs for $1.25 each. If you want to look at it that way. Either way, I'm pretty excited because there's a lot of packs in here of different generations and stuff like that, which should be fun to open because I haven't opened too many older sets. But yeah, so this should be really fun to open. All right, I got it opened. Let's look inside. So there's the tin, the top of the tin anyways. Making a lot of noise. So it comes out like this. It's not easy to get out. All right, the tin is emptied. And then we have the Rillaboom and the five packs. I'll go over the Rillaboom in a little bit. First, let's see what is inside this box. Let me put this back in here, okay. So we got a Sword and Shield base set, booster pack with that Snorlax looking really cool. Then we got another Sword and Shield base set pack with the Lapras. Then we have a Cosmic Eclipse booster pack, which is also, as far as I know, pretty rare to find in anything that's being sold at MSRP anyway. So <laughs> it's already a great find. Then we got a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows not the most exciting pack, but still pretty cool. And then I was right, we do have an XY Evolutions pack right here, which is very exciting because you're not gonna find these for anywhere near MSRP anywhere. So I don't know how or why Pokemon Center website released this or how they found more XY Evolutions packs, but uh, yeah, very, very lucky. We will save this for last, I think. And uh, we'll probably start with the least exciting pack, which is the Burning Shadows. I don't know why, but a lot of the Sun and Moon, well, like half of the Sun and Moon packs are not loved at all, while the other half, like Cosmic Eclipse, are incredibly loved. I'm guessing that Cosmic Eclipse is loved because of this Blastoise and Piplup tag team card that I assume is in here, since that's the art on the pack. But yeah. Let's just jump into this and open the Burning Shadows pack right now. All right, here is a card code, code card for Burning Shadows. Let's flip it around, I believe, what is this? Sun and Moon, that's a one, two, three, four to the front. Yep. We'll start off that with a Fighting Energy. A Rotom Dex in Pokey Finder mode. I haven't seen that one before. A Super Scoop Up. It's a pretty useful card in the card game. An Electabuzz. A Duskull. An Inkay. A Stuffle. A Crab Brawler. A more lull, a reverse hollow tortinator, and a meow stick as the rare. You know, I'm not going to complain about not getting a hollow in that pack since that is one of the least rare packs, the cheapest to find. So hopefully that means it'll save our luck for maybe the Cosmic Eclipse or the Evolutions pack. The second pack I'm going to open is this Lapras Art Sword and Shield base set pack. And then we'll probably do another Sword and Shield base set pack, the Cosmic Eclipse, and then finally the Evolutions at the end. Okay. 
All right, here is the code. Hopefully you can see that. And this one's for the base set sword and shield pack. And then we will do one, two, three, four to the front and start off with an electric energy. And then we got a Mantine, a crushing hammer. This thing is really, really annoying in the actual card game. I can't tell you how frustrated this card makes me when someone plays it in the game. Then we got a Switch, a Mana, a Roselia, a Chewdle, a Blitbug, a cool looking Rhyhorn, a Reverse Hollow Mincino, Mincino, and finally a Reggie Rock V. Looky there. It's a little bit bent. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. I don't know why so many. It seems to only be the V cards or the rare cards. Like if you see this guy, it's almost perfectly flat, the Mancino. But then you get to the V card or whatever special card is in the pack and it is slightly bent. But either way, I think I might be able to flatten it out. I haven't found a good way to flatten cards out yet, but I'm confident I'll find a way eventually. So we got the Reggie Rock V. Cool stuff. And the next pack is going to be another Sword and Moon base set. This time with the Snorlax as the world. A really good looking art there. All right, here is the code card. Let's see what we'll start with here. We got a grass energy. Let me fix the camera. Take a sip of my drink. All right, then a Mantine, a crushing hammer again. Another switch, a Clavipus, a Wulu. That's some vibrant looking art there. He's <laughs> looking real cute. A Sobble, a Pinchurchin, Pinsurchin, a Blipbug. Oh, look at that. I love Gengar and this is another great art. I just got a great art in another pack I opened recently, but this is different and I love it. And the last card is a Whimsicott as the rare. All right, we got two packs left, both really awesome packs. The Cosmic Eclipse pack, which has that Blastoise and Piplup tag team. And then Evolutions, obviously, with the base set reprint. I think there's some other unique cards that are not just base set in XY Evolutions. So hopefully we get something cool in there, but let's start off with the Cosmic Eclipse. And then we'll go on to the evolutions. All right. We got a code card. And then we got one, two, three, four to the front with a fairy energy to start. And then a Vibrava, a great catcher. A Dragonium Z, Dragon Claw. Interesting. A Rufflet. An Oddish. A Ralts. Sandy Gast. Sphiel. Oh, look at that, a Piplup. This guy from the art is in the pack. <laughs> As a Reverse Hollow and an Alolan Ninetales. Holographic. That is a really cool card. So is this Piplup, even though he's just a reverse holo. But uh, Alolan Ninetales is great. I actually got an Alolan Ninetales. What was it? A full art something. I'm not sure if it was a V or a GX or what. But I love Alolan Ninetales. This is my second one in a different form. So very happy to have her. Would have taken the um, Blastoise Piplock tag team, but 
and can't get it all and that is perfectly fine with me. And here's the moment we've been waiting for, the XY Evolutions pack. I've heard that there's really bad pull rates in this, so I don't want to get anybody's hopes up before we open this, but there's always a chance of something really, really exciting in here. Let's see. Here is a code card for the Evolutions pack. And then we will flip it over, one, two, three, I believe, to the front. I don't think there is an energy card in these packs. We will see. We got a Misty's Determination. These old cards are really nostalgic, at least. <laughs> okay, so we got a Misty's Determination, a Surfing Pikachu. That one's pretty popular, whether it's a reprint or not. A Magmar. A Magikarp, a Seal, a Poliwag, a Tangela, a Voltorb, a Reverse Hollow Polyrath. These definitely bring back some memories from when I was really young when we were when the card game first came out. I was getting these, and let's see if we can get something amazing. Fingers crossed. A Pidgeot EX, a Pidgeot EX, very cool, maybe not the uh, reprinted Charizard that we were looking for, but I would say we got pretty lucky considering we could have got nothing, <laughs> and this looks pretty great, and it's, uh, well, I don't know if that, do you see the name up there? It looks kind of faded almost, I assume that that is intentional, but either way, the card looks great. I'm sure that it has a good amount of value regardless. I mean, I would have taken the Charizard, but I'd definitely take this Pidgeot EX. So that seems to be that for this box. The last card I want to go over here is this Rillaboom. If I can get it out, I'll give you guys a code for him. Let's see if he'll just fall out of here. Yes. All right, so this is the code for the Rillaboom V, the Black Star promo version. And this is the Rillaboom V card. This is what comes in this tin, like guaranteed. It's the one that's right in the front, the one that you'll always get if you get this tin, if you're lucky enough to. I mean, this is from spring 2020, but for some reason the Pokemon Center website just Put it up one day, in like a week or two ago. So I got really lucky. I got three out of four, or three out of five packs had something better than nothing. <laughs> something that was really good inside. Of course, you're gonna get the Rillaboom V, which probably isn't worth a whole lot, but it's always nice to get a nice promo card with your packs in case you don't get much of anything in your packs. Lucky for us, we did. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. I really appreciate it if you do. Uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment with what you think of the pools here. And I will see you guys next time.